Coach Mark, can you describe what it's like? I, I can't do it, you know, I, I just can't do it. They make decisions a lot of times, which ones are gonna be for you, and then half the time the other ones can't be for you because they went for you, you know what I mean? No. Ready. Tell him, Mama, you know I was ready. That's why you have it. You like the pressure? This is what the game's all about. Put yourself in a little pressure shot and you'll see how good you get. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Commanders and the Bucks. And it's coming up next. And, uh, oh, yeah, Brock, they've won a couple of their own along the way, too. We're in the home of the Buccaneers, Tampa, Florida, and Raymond James Stadium. Well, Brock, we saw week one begin on Thursday night, and now two more teams get their season started here on Sunday. He's Brock Hewitt. I'm Kate Scott, and it is a very important partner for both teams here that their seasons begin on a strong note. Yeah, this is the week where I really can't take myself back to that locker room, to week one across the different seasons. And whether it was high school or college or pro, it was the same feeling. Ball is teed up. Chase McLaughlin to do the honors. And we're off from Tampa. His return starts at the five. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Such an incredible amount of promise in this man and a lot of signs of hope since he went near the top of the draft this spring. We knew he was always going to get the start in his first career game. And this is the first step to beginning a new era for this franchise. And also that chip on his shoulder to prove that he should have been the number one pick. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Second and three now. From the 37. Got him in over the middle, complete. And he'll get it up to the 44. A seven yard pickup and it moves the chains. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Second down now, seven to go. Trying the inside hand off to Eckler. Still going past the 40. And he gets this shot all the way to the 31-yard line. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Kate, you know by now I'm not shy about referencing movies during a game. And that run, well, that was a picture-perfect script. You get the defense thinking one thing, looking one way, then bam! You surprise them with the twist and head the other way for a big run. They've got first down from the 31. They're going play action. Able to find Dotson here. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. So a picture-perfect way to begin this ball game, Bronk. Their opening drive ends in six. Yeah, no question about it. That's how you do it. You work all week to script out the opening drive, and it's huge when it pays off like that. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The Commander's kickoff unit out and ready as they send this away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Now after the play, looks like we have somebody banged up. What we hope is it's nothing major. Don't want to see a serious injury less than a quarter into the season. They're out and set, first and 10. White trying this straight ahead. And he found some running room for a nice game. 
Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Receiver in motion going left. From the 36. Quick hitter complete. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. From the gun, a run for White. And he gets this one to the 49 on a solid pickup. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. To throw is Mayfield. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he takes it up and across midfield to Commander's territory. Third and a lone yard coming up. They'll send him over right. Looking to throw on third and one. That's caught for the first. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Opening drive going according to plan. This is first and 10 at the 36. They go play action here. Got Evans, it's complete. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Out of the gun, White. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Here's Baker. He's got it near the eight. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry that's on the period. field. Defense. Offense liked how that play went, so they choose to decline the penalty. First down from the red zone. He's got it! And they will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! The Buccaneers finish off their opening drive. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown! That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I'm an old coordinator, say so it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it, and win it with a touchdown. That one splits the uprights, and we're all knotted up. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Back out on the commanders for their second drive of the game. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Eckler running dead ahead. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. The rookie out of Alabama, they're on the tackle. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Open receiver, caught. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. They get 28 out of that play. And the Commanders will have a first. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Shotgun handoff now to Eckler. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. 
Instead, it goes backwards. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. And the Buccaneers clogging up the throwing lanes. We got six DBs out there, third down. Back now, pressure on its way. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted, it's gonna be fourth down. So often, so many of these games in the NFL where they come down to a play or two and third downs critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hands, their coach wants to see them convert those. So this one goes out of bounds inside the 20, but not by much. They're giving them the 18-yard line. Tampa Bay sending its offense out. Their second drive coming up. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Here's a give up the middle. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Third and six for them to figure out now. Baker now finds his man. It's Godwin. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? So no return on that punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. The Commanders set to take over. Well, their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing now from the gun. And there's a man there, it's intercepted. That's Justin Simmons. And the Buccaneers are gonna have it after his second interception of the season. The best defenses, you can go look at it through the decades, are built from the inside out. And that's not just stopping the run on the inside out, that's playing your coverage from the inside out. That time, beautiful job by the defense of taking away the middle of the field, getting that interception, and setting their offense up for success. Tampa Bay are ready to head out to the field. And they're set up well inside of enemy territory. They've got a short field after that pick. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Hauled in by Godwin. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. And for the Commanders, a fifth defensive back out there. They're going nickel on third down. Throwing, Baker. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked by Derek Forrest. The 30. Gets the 10. And he makes the head go. It's a touchdown on the pick six. But we all know getting the interception is the important thing, Brock. But how about this guy having the wherewithal to transition into a really nice return to then get the touchdown out of it, too? Yeah, that's a great point. We talk about it with receivers, right? Getting vertical right away after making uh -huh. a catch. Uh -huh. Same thing for these defenders when they make a pick. They secure the football, sure. But instantly, they go back to their offensive days. They want that touchdown, and they want a moment they won't forget. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. A quick chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Here come the Bucks on offense now. 
And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Motion in one of the tight ends. Running for the marker on second. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. Godwin, the man in motion left. Mayfield will look to throw. On target to Godwin. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Up the middle, here goes White. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you could recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. Here's Baker to throw. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now Mayfield. Got his target. It's Otten. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. Up to the line, and they're set. First and 10. Receiver in motion, headed right. They just get the playoff. Fires over the middle, caught. And it's a touchdown. He made the catch and took it the rest of the way. The Buccaneers parlay the interception into points. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. A second touchdown through the air for him, Brock, and independent of the game situation, we both know he's going to be happy to leave the field with two of them in one game. One touchdown, you just might be right time, right place, but two touchdowns in a game is always about the preparation. The separations of the preparation. Mm. It's doing that work on the practice field and knowing before the game that when my number's called, I'm going to be there to deliver. We're through one quarter of this opening weekend of football. Both teams neck and neck so far. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. Find some space, he's past the 30. And he showed some burst on that return, getting them all the way to their own 40. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. And they're going to be looking for a little redemption after their interception last drive led to a tie ball game, 14-all. Throw complete to Eckler. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. Speaks to this guy's talent as just an all-around difference maker, playmaker. We see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. First and 10 after that last highlights. They're at the 30. They're going play action. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. That's Justin Simmons. And the Buccaneers are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've got him for picks in this game. And he's got to be careful. But you've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense. And this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket. And you know they're going to be going after number three. 
The Buccaneers down receiver Chris Godwin getting set for another go. They're one for one so far to begin the new NFL season. Touchdown on their opening drive. Let's see if they have two for two in them. Play action on first down. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Mayfield to throw. He's got a man left. And he'll get it up to the 44. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Here's Mayfield. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. And he's brought down at the line. After that play, we see some concern out there, and now we know why. That's our top pick in the draft who's shaken up. Boy, they had big expectations for him this season. Hopefully this turns out to be nothing. Third down from the gun. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. The commanders all set to regain possession. They gave one away on their first drive of the season. Now it's time to get one back with a touchdown on drive number two. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this one does not go far. Second down now, seven to go. Throwing now, Daniels. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. And he's tackled for no gain. They stop him just short and force a fourth and one. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. So they bring Trust Way back out there for another punt. Same as a touchback here. Fair catch made at the 20. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Watch out. Watch out. Now here's Mayfield. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's brought down for a loss. Offense to the line for second down. It's White on the give. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is. But after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over them. Here he is on third and long. Pressure's there, and the commander's got him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. 
Tampa Bay in punt formation now. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a 64-yard punt officially. Their offense running back out now. Their first drive of the season, an uneventful one, led to a punt. So they'll try to get some new season magic going here on their second drive. Daniels back to throw. Able to find Dotson here. And he's tackled for a short game. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. It was there, he just couldn't corral it. And that means third down coming up. Back to throw, here's Daniels. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after a short game. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And we're all hoping his hot start can continue. He's been putting up some numbers early in this contest. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They give now to White. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Second and 12 behind the sticks. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call and that's him the first. Baker now. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. They get 35 out of that one. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up. Put some more yards on that stat sheet. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. What, what? Mayfield set to pass. That's brought in by White. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. In a good spot here, second and inches. What's that? It's second and inches at the 16-yard line. What's that? Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And that leaves him with third and short. Throwing Baker. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll advance this down to the five yard line. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. All movement on the line before the snap, though. This is going to be a false start. False start. Off. One of the most common penalties in the sport, and the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. So now, after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. They'll run here, following the penalty. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Putting the tight end in motion. They go play action on first. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. Kate, I'm going to be honest with you. This is one of the plays to break down here. 
that the defense, I can give a lot of credit, and they deserve it. Stuck with those receivers, let that rush get home. But the old quarterback in me knows you just can't do that. You escape, you're buying time. When you're down there in the red zone, well, you can't take a sack to knock you out of it. So now, here's third and goal. Here's Baker. touchdown that one not easy Brock threading the needle there boy there was a lot of traffic in the end zone but he still found his man yeah you don't really recommend challenging double coverage <laughs> in the end zone in this no. league but when you give your receiver so we've got a stoppage now figured this might be coming we're gonna take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown all right Brock so six points hinge on whether he secured that football without it hitting the ground yeah and I'm not surprised most defensive minded head coaches when there's a score at play here points at play on the board you're gonna take the risk and make this challenge so the celebration can resume on that sideline the touchdown stands that one splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. This offense ready to get going again now. And they're a touchdown back, Brock, as they take over down 21-14. Daniels. Rifles it, and it's caught. He picks up 15 on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Second and six coming up here. Here's Daniels. He gets this one to McLaurin. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They'll run here on first down. Jukes one defender. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. They're signaling for a stoppage here, and yep, there's a player injured after that snap. Not what they wanted to see in week one as their medical staff heads out to check on him. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. from the 37. It's a quick throw, and it's caught on the slant. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. A nine-yard gain, and good for a first down. We're at the two-minute warning now from Raymond James. The Commanders facing a deficit near the break. To throw, Daniels. Quick hitter. He loses the football. And the Buccaneers scoop it just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. The Buccaneers and receiver Mike Evans headed back out. They threw it the whole way down the field on their last drive, and they'd welcome the same level of play on this series as well. They're out and set, first and ten. Set. Throwing now, following the turnover. This one's taken in by Otten. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. Whistles after that play for an unfortunate sight. A player hurt in the first game of the season. Training staff out to work on it. Big shot to begin the drive, has him up beyond the 40. Mayfield to throw. This has been a trend, yet another 
another interception! Mike Sandler still makes the play! Well, okay, I guess we've got a couple of very giving the teams today, Brock. One side coughs it up with a fumble, then the other side graciously hands it right back with the interception. Hey, listen, if you like playmaking defenses, then you like this game right here. These defenses, they're the ones supplying the big plays, and they're putting their stamp on this game. Now this offense getting set to work here. They lost it in enemy territory their last time out. Never a spot you want to fumble. So I imagine, Brock, it's going to be two hands on the football as they return to the field. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing now, Daniels. Into traffic, complete! And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. They gain 14 on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Ertz reels it in. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. From the red zone now. It's caught. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders earn the chance to tie it before halftime. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah. because they want to put a touchdown on the board. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. The Commanders kickoff unit out and ready as they send this away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. Returns looking good so far. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. They motion a receiver left. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. Tampa spends its second time out now. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Baker to throw. Hauled in by Godwin. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Got Evans, it's complete. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 28. Pass is caught at the 9. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. Working inside the red zone. And they will score. It's a Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers take the lead just before halftime. With the touchdown, his second scoring catch of the game. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give him the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish, because you want to have that mindset, even early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. He'll throw it. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. They get an even 10 on that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. 
he's back to throw. And this falls incomplete with just two seconds remaining. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That's a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. That brings us to our first halftime of the new season. Now we'll keep it in the state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. We saw a strong first half out of the former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. He had it going right away. Two touchdown passes in the first quarter, two more in the second. Four touchdown passes all told. And he's likely not done yet. Thanks so much for the look around the league, Coach. But now it's time to turn our attention back to this one as we begin the third quarter. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. And you know this firsthand, partner. You get above that 300 mark, you and your offense are going to have plenty of highlights to choose from by this point in the game. We're getting a look at some of them now. You just got to marvel at how well he's played the quarterback position here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. They'll go left side here with White. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Baker now. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Here's Mayfield. Open receiver, caught. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. That one hits for 30. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Well, that's sure one way to take the lid off a of defense. Great work to find the biggest hole in the coverage, and more importantly, go exploit it. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. They send the tight end in motion. Trying to throw here out of the gun. He's got it, room to run. And this one doesn't go far. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. From the 19. Escapes the pocket. Now he takes it. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. They go play action here. Looking right, and he finds him. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle, force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. You know, you look at that third down play, looking back, and it really turns into a three-point play. It's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would have loved a touchdown more. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now this offense ready to head back out. Well, we all know at this point, turnover's the big problem for them in this game, Brock. And not surprisingly, the defense has capitalized on those mistakes on more than one occasion to their benefit. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can be tough to win football games in spite of. Right, but over the test of time, turnovers are the number one thing that cost you games, especially yep. after that first one. Once there's blood in the water, you feel it with the defense. They get all over you, trying to force another turnover and another and another. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. 
But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he'll take this up to around the 30-yard line. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Throwing off the play fake here. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Nice kick there. It's a punt of 53 yards. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. They run. It's White. And he's brought down for a loss. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody, about for the thousandth time, how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. Here's second and 11. That's going to be caught by Evans. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. All plays on the table here for third and three. To throw is Mayfield. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. That one gains seven. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. On the ground is White. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. The tight end going in motion right. Here we go, second and nine. To the sideline, and it is caught. And they get this down to the 28. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. All right, set now. First and ten. Throwing now off play action. That one's complete right side. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage. He gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. So now here's third and five. To throw, Mayfield. Quick hitter complete. And he's able to get this down to the 13. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. A tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. On first down, they'll run. And he'll pick up a little down to the 12-yard line. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Here's White again. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. These edge defenders in the league today, Kate, they've got so much on their list to do. A huge to-do list. They gotta get to the passer, they gotta set an edge, and they gotta stop that run game, not just on the end of the line, but in that case, right in the middle of And he hauls it in for the Tampa touchdown! The Buccaneers make it a 16-point ball game. Mike Evans with the touchdown. His third through the air this game.
Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. Find some space. He's past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? A number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Here's Daniels. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn up completion that nets them a first down. Play action on first down. <laughs> Justin Simmons and the Buccaneers get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. Well, I'm with him. I've got to admire the guts, the willingness to continue to challenge the coverage, even with two interceptions already. But there's his third strike. And no, it's not baseball, but he definitely has to be smarter with what he's doing with the football. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. They motion the slot man right. Mayfield set to pass. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Hauled in by Godwin. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here's Baker to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Oh God. Oh God. Throwing it again here. Rifles it and it's caught. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Here's Baker. Got Evans, it's complete. And this one does not go far. All plays on the table here for third and three. Mayfield will look to throw. On target to Godwin. And he works this to the 38 before going down. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. New set of downs for him at the 38. Coming left is White. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Perception reality, Kate. The perception out there from the public is edge rushers are defined by their sacks. The reality in a locker room and in the huddle is you could be defined by your relentlessness. And his motor never stopped. Helped him track it down for a loss on the outside. Second and 13. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Third and four coming up now. Third and four. 
Now here's Mayfield. He has the first over the middle. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. We've reached the end of three in our week one opener. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Now Mayfield. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. And they'll stand him up and sit him down at the line. You know, Kate, it's almost as if the defense invited him to make that throw. That was a play they knew they could defend, and they stopped it right at the line. They'll run it here on third down. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Give him two yards on the play. It's going to be fourth down and eight. Chase McLaughlin now to try the Buccaneers field goal. From 37 yards in the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that extends the lead to 20. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Return starts at the nine. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. That count runs their offense. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 46. On target to his man, Zacchaeus. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. All right, I'll set up now. First and 10. Still sticking with the passing game. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. Second and 10 now. And they pick him up again. That's Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Buccaneers have it after forcing his fourth INT of the day. Okay, Brock, now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's going to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Their first drive of the new campaign netted a field goal. Now let's see if they can bump that up to a touchdown on drive number two. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. They're signaling for a stoppage here. And yep, there's a player injured after that snap. Not what they wanted to see in week one as their medical staff heads out to check on him. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And he's tackled for a short game.
Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Here he is on third and long. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, do it through training camp, you do them in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. So this one sails over the sideline, and they'll spot it where a touchback would go at the 20 yard line. The offense headed back to the field. They'll get this drive started, first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Hits his man on the out route. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Daniels back to throw. Able to find Ertz. And he'll get it up to the 44. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. From the 44 here on second down. He gets this one to McLaurin. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like at that 37-yard line. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And the Commanders will have a first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Throwing now, Daniels. It's Dotson on the catch. And he nearly takes it to the red zone before going out. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. And they've got themselves another first and ten. To throw, Daniels. And he'll go down. The Bucks brought pressure and got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Even from the booth, Kate, I could hear it. I could hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys. I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver? And that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. This one taken in by Zacchaeus. Decent game here, but short of the first. Whistles after that play for an unfortunate sight. A player hurt in the first game of the season. Training staff out to work on it. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Quick pass, right side, complete. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. Desperation time on fourth down. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. You know, kid, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All we want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. Again, right side to White. Offside, defense. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. Still first down. A first and five to begin this drive following the penalty. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Again, this is White. And once 
again. He doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. They give it to him again. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. They send a tight end in motion. Back to the well again. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays, too. Back-to-back -back carries here. And all he can get is one yard. Ran that right into the defensive front. Now they're whistling for timeout here. Somebody's shaking up on the play. Not the way he wanted to begin his rookie season. Wow, let's hope it doesn't cost him much time. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Another carry for him. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and 10. First down, and they go right back to it. And he'll be stopped after getting this down to the 31. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Up the middle, here goes White. And he gets this forward to the 19. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. It's pretty obvious, this defense. Man, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. Working inside the red zone. And he gets back to the line, but no more. We've hit the two-minute warning here in Tampa. Buccaneers looking like they'll start this season with a win. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and they still need ten now on third down. They're just going to let the clock run out and take this delay. Delay of game. Offense. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still third down. Penalty not helping their cause for this third down. Good. Running it after the penalty. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Holding offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. They'll run here following the penalty. And that will not be enough for a first down. They get nine out of the run, but a chunk of yards remaining now on fourth down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. This from 40 on the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they push their lead to 23. So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And this drive will start inside the 25. The offense getting set to go. 
And they can really do what they want with these last couple of snaps afforded to them because the outcome already decided. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Daniels now. Oh, missed assignment, and he finds the open man. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle, they showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Holding offense. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. Now Daniels to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. The Commanders take a timeout. They're first. Here's Daniels. Need this to force overtime. And that pass falls incomplete. Well, they kept trying. They kept taking shots at the very end. And now we have reached that end. This one's over. Sound the cannons, baby. The Buccaneers winning here in Tampa. And they're one of the fortunate teams to begin the season with a 1-0 record. So far, so good to begin this new campaign. So that's it for us here. Brock Heward, our crew. I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Buccaneers winners, as with that, we sign off from Tampa.